What's up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are all doing good. These are six things that simps get wrong and alpha males get right. So this is going to be very interesting. I think it's pretty corny to call yourself an alpha or a sigma or whatever, but hey, to each is your own. But uh, let's get straight into the video. What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about six things that Sims do. <sighs> Melly is looking good today. Whew. What? She's mixed with something. I think she's like, what, maybe... Could she be Brazilian and something? Her eyes. Her eyes. So if you claim that you are mm -hmm. an alpha, maybe you should check this out to make sure you're not okay. doing this. Okay? Because the difference between yeah. a sim and a nice guy, because often it's confused. Hmm. The nice guy is just nice okay. to everyone. The simp is nice just in pursuit of getting pussy. That's the difference. He's ready to do anything just nah, to be Nah, not really. I mean, a simp is a guy which is probably afraid. I'll categorize a simp as a, a very shy, timid guy, which is maybe a little sneaky, but not more than that. Can I lick your pussy? Yes, th that's the simp. The simp is very uh, manipulative and is a very low I value disagree. dude. Yeah. So before we start, I created a Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. So if you want to mm. go over there, check me out. There's pictures, there's videos, there's one-on-one -on -one yeah. video call. Just you and me. Bruh, we can talk. Hit it in the comment section if you want me to go in and maybe film a video call with her. Uh, we probably could hook that up. Yes. It's over there. Please and thank you. All right, let's jump right in because you know we hear sim, sim, sim. Oh, you're a sim, you're a sim. Like, you guys be acting like everybody yeah. is a sim. But no, there's six things that the sim does that. Mm -mm. Number okay. one, yeah. a sim kisses women's ass. Mm. Do not give bitches a pass because she's pretty. I don't care. She can look, oh my God, she's a 10. But if a bitch is being a bitch, you need to check her. So never be like, oh, it's okay. No, have some respect for yeah. yourself, please. Because if you think about it, the face, she got lucky. She yeah, got a nice, nice face matters, but just treat women like you treat your friends. Because usually when you hang out with your friends and you disagree, you guys, you know, you start disagreeing and sometimes you have arguments. It's not such a big thing. I, I really, really don't look at girls like anything specific. I don't. I just like, okay, we hang out, see what happens. If she's interested, then we push it. If she's not interested, hey, but I'm not going to like try to oh, force myself on a girl. No, I think the best way to do it is just you be yourself. You create a good environment. And if she's interested, she's going to show that she's interested. But don't try to be too much on girls and try to constantly like, you know, fixing dates and being on this, all these like, even these like dating apps, I don't get people who are on the dating apps because it's like, in a way it's like desperate because why would you be there? Why don't you just approach her in real life or buy her a drink or just anything, you know? Number two, financial flirting. So yes, you simps, huh. just be giving your money away. Yeah. Oh, you want this? You need this bag? You want to go to dinner? Fancy dinner, five star? I don't know if five star is a thing, but um, yeah, you just be doing anything. You use your money to get yeah. the girl again what is she gonna do use the money and once you don't yeah. get no more money she leaves and this is something that i've been guilty of myself uh i've bruh, i've spent too much money on women i haven't simped but i like you know like if if i have a girlfriend and we're just happy you know i want to treat her to something leave it in the comment section if that's simping is that simping is that simping? Number three, sims are usually clingy. Mm. Baby, mm -hmm. why don't you talk to me? I think the biggest problem that sims have is that they overstay their welcome. Know when to go, you know? Don't stay too long. And sometimes, you know, you gotta be a guy with purpose. Cause why would just, oh, texting baby, I miss you. I wanna be with you. Let's, let's hang out. This is like, uh, you know, you have to first get her up here. Then you can get the pussy. But if you, are constantly 
I don't know, you can go for the body first. And I think that's what Sims really read wrong when it comes to girls. A girl wants to be together with a guy which she looks up to. The more she's texting, the more she's invested, the more you pull back and the more, I don't know, I don't, I don't really know if I want this girl. That's how you should always be. But that is something which Sims get, oh, they get wrong. Texting, yeah. like, what are you doing? Please, please, yeah. begging. You are begging yeah. for bitches. Are you mm. fucking crazy? I always go back to this. Always be the popular guy. If you can't be the popular guy, be the friendly guy, okay? I think there's something which everybody, like every simp can use. If you're a very nice guy, change redirect that energy don't be like super nice giving your money away and all of that no be a super nice guy get a lot of friends if you're a super nice guy you get a lot of friends then you at least get to be in the room with a lot of these girls right and what you can do is let a lot of girls friends own you just let it happen okay you hang out with girls and then you start to see how they act okay well now she's acting this way, she's acting that way, this guy's treating her this way, this... If you do not know, because honestly, like, I hear dating channels like this and they're like, well, you should not do this and you should not do this. It's very, very easy when you're an attractive girl like her to say, you should not do that and you should not do that. But if you're at home right now and you're thinking like, bro, I'm just a normal average guy, just like me, I'm super normal average. But if you're just at home and you're thinking like, how do I start? right how do i start because this is a person which has been in the gym for a long time and she's telling you I'm, I'm lifting weights and that's not really the way to go right i would say the reason why the reason why i'm social is because i sat down one day and just said okay i have a problem with speaking in front of the camera right and i'm super nervous when i'm talking let me let me start by just talking a little bit so I started, what, maybe two minutes. I'm speaking for two minutes. And then after those two minutes, that morphed into three minutes, which morphed into 10 minutes. And now I can sit, what, a whole hour just sitting and talking about, I don't know, topics on the internet. But she's 100% she's right, but she's just a little more harsh. He degrading you. Number four, you get simpy style. Like you're safe. You're boring. When you walk in a room, nobody's looking at you because... No, hmm? no, no. You're no. not remarkable. It has nothing to do with being remarkable and that's where I disagree with her. I think you should focus on the things that you're good at. Okay, let me just shoot out certain things. I love comics and I've always loved comics. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, right? But if you're passionate about something and you start talking about it, people are really going to see it. So... If you like comics or if you like games or whatever, if you like World of War, stand for it. I think there is nothing better than actually standing for it and just like saying like, bro, I like this. This I think is very interesting. And I mean, there are a lot of like World of Warcraft conventions and Comic Con and there's like, there's a lot, right? And you can meet a lot of like-minded people. And I think like what's very, very dangerous is like, I know the person that is sitting behind the camera right now is probably thinking like, bro, I'm not good enough. How will I ever get a girl? Cause I'm, I'm just like a total nerd. It's fine to be a nerd. Just be like an assertive nerd. Just be like yourself. Well, it all starts with how you look, your style. I'm not saying you gotta have a, a face okay. that's like a 10, but your clothes need to reflect <laughs> how confident you are. And if you wear raggedy clothes, wrinkle, too big, too tight, not long enough, it's not gonna no. do it. But Sims do that. We can spot a Sim from a mile away just by looking at what he's wearing. And I'm not talking about, oh, go no, get designers no, it's or anything. attitude, just your attitude. The way that you act, the way that you carry yourself, that's what it's about. And maybe, maybe a girl wants to be with a capable man so much that She's afraid that maybe a simp is not strong enough to protect her. But I think, I think a simp would be able to protect women. It's just, it's just they're too nice. That's the problem. They're too nice and they, they're giving away the resources which is supposed to be for 
the girlfriend. None of that. But how you dress is very yeah. important. Number five, you don't demand that people respect you. People just take advantage of you and you let it ride. Like it's okay, oh, free pass. Yeah, keep doing this, keep... What the fuck mm. are you doing? Respect is something that is earned. You teach people how to treat you. Mm. If you show a bitch that it's okay to mistreat you and manipulate you, what do you think she's gonna mm. keep doing? You think she's gonna turn around and she'll be like, oh, I'm tired of yeah, manipulating yeah, yeah. him and getting- Disrespect is never a good thing. You should always stand up for yourself because you have to, as much as you give, you have to get. Everything I want, so I'm gonna stop. Obviously not. The bitch is gonna keep on going and going until you go broke. Number six, just because she keeps you around doesn't mean she likes you. Yeah, she likes what you're providing. She doesn't like you as a person. So yeah, but this is all girls. This is all women. You have to come with some form of value proposition. You have to. You, I mean, like, you're gonna pay for it. Either, either you are the alpha male. You're gonna pay for it in in a in a way. You're gonna pay for it. Not always. Not we're not talking about money always, but in a way you're gonna pay for it. Let's say you guys are sitting and you guys are having a chat, right? You can ask her things like, "What makes you a good girlfriend?" 